Wee. Yeah, the one that drowned does kind of tick me off a bit. Olimar, you're my hero. You've erased half of our debt. More than half. Still, things have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focused on work. And don't slack off. Alright, time for everyone's favorite part. The reading. I, li I just like it. I like reading things. It's fun. There's a lot of things to read, honestly, though. Oh, uh, that's the problem with going into the, the pit. I found this metal treasure in the guts of an avian snake. It took real courage to drop into that dark den, but danger is what I do best in honor of my brave clash with that feathered serpent. I've named that den the Snaggert Hole. Good job, Olimar. What a perplexing plant. It appears to be carrying two different types of berries. They must be a rare species of fruit. Both have odd traits. One seems to be a suppressant, while the other is a stimulant. It's not easy to tell which is which. I'd better be careful with them. I should also warn Louis, or else he may try to break these berries in a pie. Bake, not break. I don't know where I got break from. Break the berries. I've collected all kinds of edible objects, but the ship's sensors can't judge taste. To make up for the ship's shortcomings, I'm making a special effort to try everything. I guess there's a lot more fruit before we get a series out of that. I think I'll take this plant back to my boy as a souvenir of my grand expedition. It'll make a perfect topic for his science fair project. This wand of meat makes me inexplicably, inexplicably, oh my god, I can't talk, inexplicably hungry. The parts used to produce it seems to be of ambiguous origin and questionable quality, yet it calls to me. Maybe I'll have just one bite. I don't know if I want a wand of meat. Some things on this world can't be understood no matter how much I analyze them. For instance, this is the first time I've tasted this, but it has a nostalgic taste. It's inexplicable. It tastes like something my mom has made for me by hand. I like to eat sweets from time to time. Well, to be honest, if there are any within reach. I can't help myself. Strangely, Pikmin never eat snacks. I wonder where all of their energy comes from. The ground. I don't know. Maybe they have stuff in the onion. Obviously, we bring back food, maybe. Possibly. Probably. This appears to be a huge bird feather, but I've never seen this creature it once belonged to. I wonder if I ever will. I've only seen a few airborne creatures on this planet. I wonder why. Maybe it's just because I haven't encountered them yet. Oh no, what if they saw me take this feather? They could be watching me, waiting for the perfect moment to take their sweet revenge. Oh lord. Imagine just a huge bird. Get like a uh, bug's life situation going. I've had an upset stomach lately. I'm not old yet. But I'm not young anymore either. Maybe I should start doing a better job of looking after my health. Perhaps basking in this contraption's magnetic rays will make me stronger. Oh no, Olimar, don't go down that route. Olimar is getting into alternative medicines. Sometimes it's difficult to tell if a treasure is natural or manufactured. Is it? The ship has concluded that this treasure is natural, but I'm not so sure. The ship sulks and gripes for days if I disagree with it. So I'll keep my opinion to myself. More marbles? Didn't uh, complete the set, so there's gotta be like five more. I speculate that this crystal is in fact highly intelligent. It must possess telepathic powers. When I peer into it, the reflection of my face is bright red. It must be sensing my stress. Tomorrow I think I'll sleep through the whole day. That sounds good. I could use that. The Pikmin are always staring at me. It's nice to see that they look up to me, but it's becoming unnerving. Sometimes I want to hide away in the ship just to escape their beady eyes trying to sort out the five different colors of Pikmin. I wonder if there's going to be five marbles for all the colors of Pikmin. It's giving me a headache. I'll be much better tactician if I take a moment to study each Pikmin's unique abilities. Red Pikmin, immune to fire. Purple Pikmin, strong and heavy. Bruisers that can lift big loads. White Pikmin, fast and immune to the effect of poison. Can also find hidden treasures buried underground. Yellow Pikmin, highly agile and immune to electrical damage. Also fly high when thrown. Blue Pikmin, thrive in water. Phew, should be easy to identify each Pikmin's abilities based on their colors. Great, thank you. Never seen such a huge lens. Must have been designed as a nanograin magnifier by Hyper Advanced Society of Alien Megabrains. Gah! This object is far too complex for even my superior scientific intelligence to comprehend. Uh, this is our last one here. When I crash landed on this planet, I got sick of eating only Hokotade noodles every day. 
This time is no different. We didn't have time to properly prepare some tasty provisions. I can't stop drooling when I look at this evocative object. Hungry explorers must learn to use their imagination in the absence of food. Good. Now how many monsters did we see? Too many. Water ones. Wadi Blowhog, a ver variant of subspecies of the Fiery Blowhog. The Wadi Blowhog locks several of the dominant genes necessary for the production of fire, producing catalysts, and thus expels jets of non-flammable liquid. This subspecies appears to have only recently evolved, however, the hereditary trait of this variant are dominant and highly robust, so its population is rapidly increasing. I know I kind of screwed up that sentence, don't worry about it. Oh, it's, yeah, it is armored cannon, just without the shell. Uh, this specimen is a lithopod larvae. This expedition was unable to confirm the existence of any mature lithopods, leading to the concerns that the species was extinct on this planet. But a discovery of the creature is larval from form e such concerns. Lithopods, like flint beetles, use internal metabacteria to aid chemical digestion. These metabacteria can only survive in certain environments, such as within the body of certain insects. So lithopod larvae do not contain any metabacteria immediately after hatching. Larvae feed on partially digested or regurgitated by mature lycopods. Turn the larvae obtains metabacteria they wouldn't would not normally have acquired. Sometimes they like to drop on your head and give you a good spook. Wah, 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 wah. Antenna beetle. Wow. Three of those together is real loud. This creature is able to control the pick Ooh, look at him go he just went the pikmin by way of the peculiar frequency of its war but its only objective seems to be defensive in nature as it stops pikmin from attacking and forces them to run away this beast prefers human dimly lit environments and has been known to inhabit empty and discarded containers for this reason it's wise to thoroughly ventilate any specimens that are recovered lifting off with one of these creatures in the hole can lead to a rupturing of the specimen during decompression resulting in an explosive mess oh lord Oh, I guess just, you know, blue. Uh, uh, no matter what color Pikmin is tossed into the- I guess we didn't r ever run into any of the other colored ones, huh? Puts out the same number of blue Pikmin, this family of plant boasts soft, fleshy leaves, the sinewy tendrils of which allow the flower to open and close repeatedly over the closure of a day. Queen. This specimen constantly changes color when Pikmin are thrown into it. It shoots out seeds that match the flower's coloration the moment the Pikmin land inside of it. The number of seeds shot out is always greater than the number of Pikmin thrown in. It can be said that this is a completely baffling plant, and many mysteries remain over precisely what sort of relationship it has with the Pikmin. It would appear that the Pikmin gain all of the benefit from the relationship. Perhaps it is simply a different variety of Pikmin to begin with? Uh, who knows? What is that? See, I've seen that before. What triggers me actually unlocking it? Glowcap family? It's like... It's not actually, th although they obviously are unrelated, the glow stem bears a striking resemblance to the street light on Hokotare. It is highly possible that glow stems could be a relic of some unknown civilization beyond the scope of our imagination. All right, they at least acknowledge it. It's kind of like a possibility of it being man made ish. Pal eat it, pal eat it, snag it. This variety of snaggeret has the ability to both burrow underground and walk above it. Its earthy red coloration and distinct yellow ears and eyes markings make it immediately recognizable. Despite featuring a chimera-like merging of serpent and avian features, the piloting snaggeret has poor eyesight for a bird. Perhaps due to extended periods spent underground, to compensate for this, its nose features a thermal sensing organ common to many snakes, making it a dangerously effective hunter. Oh my god. It's more snake than man. Well, then bird, but you know, the idea stands. How do I leave? I don't, I don't remember how to leave. Hey, go to area select, let's go. So, realistically the best we're gonna do with this, I think, is just get the two objects that we clearly saw when we uh, were trying to get the yellow Pikmin. And then, I guess from there, go into the other cave and hope that the other cave is actually pretty small. Oh, my, um... My stupid, uh... Bottle opener... Remain close by. That's good. I don't remember what I need it for the, um... The cave. I think it was... 
yellows and reds. Also, I don't have control. Give me a minute. Okay, I didn't have the um, sensor on. I thought I did. I didn't. Easy fix, but it's something that I, um, you know, maybe don't quite notice until we actively get into an area where I have to use the pointer. Okay, you guys go nuts. I'm probably gonna have to fight some stuff to get properly to the other thing. We did it! I'm glad that stayed. I don't know, I never really got a chance to see if it did in uh, Pikmin 1. Most of the time, if, well, when it did become an issue, all my Pikmin died, so I reset the day. Impediment Scourge. But it's nice that it, like, saved its last spot. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, let's deal with you. Get him. Best to get him away from where the uh, water was, too. Most of them kind of started to go towards the mold, but it's fine. Pick that up. Okay, me and the gang, let's deal with the flying freak. Because what I'm going to do is have everyone but the yellows work on the mold. Get him! I do like when we just keep him down. Like he has no way out. It's kind of fun. All, right, all you guys deal with this. Because you aren't going to really be able to help with the other stuff. I, I mean, they might be able to. I don't actually know. But it's kind of the same setup as it was in um, Pikmin 1. So I'm going to assume the height of yellows are needed. Okay, yellows. As long as you don't drown. And some reds, apparently. We also left Louis behind forever, but that's fine. I'm sure the reds will be fine. Alright, you guys are doing good. I'm wondering what kind of a plant that actually is. I don't think we ever saw it. Because it's always been moldy. Okay, great throws. I'm really getting stuff done with those. I probably don't even need this many... Pikmin, honestly, but... I have them all here. If they can speed up the process, might as well use them. Okay, yeah, I guess you guys are just going after that one. You aren't going to come back to me and drown, are you guys? You wouldn't? bit of an awkward position. Looks like they just need six, so. Or is that saying they have six? They need 15? Damn, that's more than six. Oh, 
You guys aren't really going to be able to save that, are you? Man, there's a lot of these freaks over here. You guys go nuts. Just carry things back, I don't know. Don't follow me. Do your own thing. Be your own man. How big is the map, actually? I don't think I really got a good look at it. There's a lot, like, over there. Like, we really barely scratched the surface. Um... Eh, we'll have to take a better look at things. I'm kind of wasting the day away, to be honest. Good job, guys. Just need one more up there, at least. We did it. Look at him spinning! And this isn't anything. No, we can't dig it up. And it looks like it was, um... Bitter that we got. Yeah, honestly, these guys aren't as bad if I just get them a little quicker. This, like, looks like it should be something. No more, like, big flowers that way. Also, how would I get that? Alright, I just saw what that was. God damn it. I, I honestly, I, I do love the branding. Gherkin Gate! Refrigerate after opening. Um, let's not go down there. Not yet, anyways. Okay, half a day. You guys do that. Do it. Stop wasting my time. Do it. Louie. Remember, was there anything in our way when we started heading this way before? Oh, besides fog. Um, yeah, I was right. Electricity and fire is what we really need to worry about there. Those guys are chilling. Oh, Lord! Wasn't paying attention! I was like, that's some weird music playing while I'm looking at those guys. What I... There's a bridge over there. But it doesn't look like that would be a path over the other way. I, basically, I think what I need to do now, or at least what my best course of action at the moment is going to be is to try to get into the cave with what we have and then maybe next day play with water to the best of our ability. Thought you guys would be a bit quicker with that one, but I guess I didn't leave you with too much. I also want to look over here real quick. So, basically, same thing as... Ah, I'm drowning! Same thing as Pikmin 1, but this is mainly to get them over so they can build the bridge. And then from the bridge, they can... We can carry... It's going to be awkward to completely carry them over, but we can carry electric people over there. And then probably have to just carry... Blue over there. Is that an animal or is that? I think that's just like weird, like plastic piping. I think, right, probably 
am better off trying to ignore the enemies if I can. Uh, we're not going to worry about collecting any more of that junk. As soon as everyone's done, we'll go into the cave. Seems like it's decent to have uh, loads of berries, though. Like a wall to break down there. Oh. Doesn't really help me zoom. Is this... Wait, 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 wait. I kind of want to look at something real quick. I guess that's a way I could drop Pikmin over there. You think it's like a dig spot or something? It seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Like, why would I bring Pikmin over there? I'm going to assume it's probably like I need the white Pikmin to dig something up. Then I can get the blue Pikmin to run over there. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, alright with how things turned out. Now let's get Mad about a cave again. I think the one big problem I'm having with the caves is just I really prefer the surface. It's a lot neater and more spread out. Citadel spiders. I'm wondering if the daddy long leg is going to be here. With the leaves. Oh! The fake is what's with the leaves. What did they just do? Didn't seem to kill anyone, they just kind of like puff. I'm honestly, because this is like right outside of the entrance. I'm expecting it to be pretty easy. In comparison, or at least short in comparison. I like the spider noise. I'm also partially expecting the treasure that we get to be um, very good, because it's probably something that they want you to get, since it's so straightforward to come here. Where like all the armor stuff is more like, hey, that's a that's a treat for you if you decide to come this way. Assume this tomato is the only thing. Actually, I wonder too, realistically, this would tell us how many caves there are, wouldn't it? Well, maybe not. Maybe it won't. <laughs> uh, there's like a flashlight and another guard, probably just for electricity, because obviously we can swim. And then I don't know how the gloves and boots. Gloves probably let us, like, throw farther. Boots maybe will let us run faster. Whistle larger. There's, like, two whistle upgrades. That would be... Yeah, I can count six things. How many... How many zones did, like, each area look like they had? I think like four, right? It's a tomato! Love Nugget! I would not have, if you had asked me what I thought that would be called, I would have said like something juicy or plump. I would not have thought it was a Love Nugget. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if not all caves actually have anything of significance in them.
or at the very least, I would expect maybe one of the caves to have, like, super treasure and it's worth, like, a kajillion Hokotate coin, whatever it was called. We're already at the bottom, let's go. Don't really like when it's a large area like this. Really gets me paranoid about, like, basically bosses showing up. I need to separate you guys. I saw the geyser. You can't hide it from me. Well, you, you can. You can, apparently, because it took me a minute to find it again. Okay, frog. Frog was made somewhat aware of us. What's with this corner? Something gonna drop on our heads? Mm, yep. It was fine, though. Again. And okay, not always. See, that's kind of the silly thing, is that, um... Nice little... ramp. Oh, this music's sick. Alright, let's, uh, try to deal with Frogo. I'm gonna leave... those guys behind, but... So, the, um, the note from Olimar made it seem like these spiders don't really do anything as long as we don't do anything to them, so... For now, let's ignore them. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, we lost, like, a red Pikmin, that's fine. You caught fire a little bit. I was gonna say, a little annoying if a lot of us die because it slammed, because it had no health anymore. But it's fine. As long as we lost, like, only one, and it wasn't even a purple or anything, I'm... I, I it's maybe a bit of a shame to... indicate that some Pikmin are worth more than others. But it's true. Like, how much easier is it for me to refill my ranks of reds than it is to refill anyone else? Lipstick? Oh god, I thought you almost died. Alright. Look at him, he's like rubbing his face. Get out of the way. Oh, we lost two. Again, it's not like it was anyone important. Oh, he also had a bottle cap. Get out of there, yellow, because the spiders... Oh! He's taking my bottle cap! Is that how they hide? That's adorable. Get him! Also, I can actually get in there too, because I'm not... I'm immune to fire. I kind of forgot about that already. Get you guys to uh, deal. So. Can any Pikmin dig something? Is that a rubber duck, also? Oh, it's the head of a rubber duck. That's kind of messed up. I'm wondering if any Pikmin can dig. 
So maybe having to use white Pikmin to dig up stuff isn't necessary. Or if it's, I mean, obviously it wasn't deep in the ground. But, you know, I, I'm not sure what indicates that something is a dig spot or not. Granted, I don't think we would have been able to actually get the red Pikmin to dig up the, like, hidden item that was, like, in the uh, Awakening Woods. Creative inspiration. RC Cola. RC stands for Royal Crown? I never knew. What's the duck head called? Decapitated God? That's what I would call it. Paradoxical Enigma. Okay. I like how bouncy it is. Again, I think that's part of, like, its animation was very bouncy for when it gets carried, so it just kind of follows that same traction. Everyone else, go nuts. I wasn't sure if we ate all the nectar. Lip service? How do they know that's lip related? Wait a minute. What are you talking about, Olimar? What aren't you telling me? I don't think I would ever look at that and say, like, yep, that's for lips. Especially if I was, like, smaller than it. Also, I didn't think either. Like, obviously, we didn't take a lot of damage from the leaf. But that might be because of our defensive suits now. 